Jordan Georges, and I'm a recent graduate from Bryan College of Health Sciences, and I graduated in vascular sonography. that I chose vascular sonography is because I really enjoy doing patient care and vascular ultrasound gave me the ability to not only do patient care but to also take another step and help with the diagnosis. Okay, a few of the reasons that I chose Bryan College of Health Sciences was for its location here in Lincoln and also their small classroom sizes and also its excellent reputation. I was well prepared for my clinicals and before I even graduated I was offered a job. Hi, my name is Renee Hathaway. I'm the vascular sonography instructor here at Brian LGH College of Health Sciences. Well, what is vascular sonography? Vascular sonography, what we do is we take a look at all the arteries and veins in the body. So we're looking at all the arteries and veins outside the heart. And we can do that all the way from the head down to the toes. And what we'll do is we'll actually use ultrasound to look at those arteries and arteries and veins in the body. And what Alicia will show you here on the screen, she'll actually scan the common carotid artery, which is the main artery in the neck that's going to take blood flow up to the brain. And the reason why we would do a carotid um, ultrasound exam would be if a person's having stroke-like symptoms, like slurring a speech, maybe a severe headache. Um, and what we can do is check for if there's a blockage within those main arteries in the neck. So what Alicia here will show you, there's a flashing uh, red circle and then there's a flashing blue circle. And the artery is that red color, and that's this one right here. And we're doing just a cross-section view or a transverse view of that color. And then Colors are just showing direction of blood flow, what's going towards the transducer and what's going away. But we like to keep things simple. We like to keep arteries red and veins blue. Makes things a little bit easier there for you. And we can also add sound to our artery and actually listen to the blood flow that's inside of the vessel. So in a matter of seconds, we can hear what that blood flow sounds like. And then what she can do, Alicia is actually measuring then how fast that blood flow is going. So what do we have? Kathy, I think you're going to live another day. <laughs> Seeing if there was a blockage in there, we wouldn't see any color um, within the vessel. And a lot of times what we'll see is kind of this whitish here. That'll actually be inside of the artery. So we don't want to see that and we want to make sure our flow is um, good, it's not too fast or too slow in there. If you've taken anatomy or physiology in high school, if you're kind of interested in those types of classes, um, even biology, things like that, great field. If you do like those classes, great field to come into. Our programs, the actual core program is two years and usually it's about a year for prerequisites, your general education classes, and then to be in that program it's about two years. That first semester you have um, a lot of classes with your allied health students, kind of general classes. The very second semester you actually start into your core classes. You'll come actually into the skills lab and we'll have you scanning and doing carotids and a few other different types of tests. We'll have you do book work too so you're actually in the classrooms. And then the third semester, that's when we'll still have you do the same thing, um, skills lab, and then we'll have you do um, book work to classroom. But then you guys get into your clinical one day a week also. So you're out into the field actually working with real patients. And then the last two semesters, that's where we have you um, with the clinical rotation. So that's where these guys are at right now. And that's about 40 hours a week where you're scanning with a preceptor and you are actually doing the scans on real patients at your clinical site. <laughs>